<laughs> and just turning out some more lambs. Um, these gates please me. It's so simple, but these gates please me. Um, they open together to give access into this field here. That was fun. I should have videoed it. These are five geld ones that were in with the llamas. Couldn't get any fitter. Last night, I lambed this thing. Nice. Um, this Ryland. Um, we were given this Ryland when we bought some sheep as a present for the kids. Now, at the time, it was kind of like cute and quirky. And I took a cute Instagram picture. And then I lambed it. We're not a petting farm. We don't want anyone's cast offs. And the answer will always from now on be no. No. No, I don't want him. Yeah, it won't be, uh, it won't be seeing it up again. Novel is growing on me. She's going out today, aren't you? You're going into big girl club. She's going into big girl club. She's definitely strong enough. It's a name. She's this big. She's this naughty. The dog hates her. Hates her. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy. Gonna do something really peculiar right now. We need some more water in the slurry because it's really thick. It was all spread, but the stuff in the bottom is absolutely, it's like soup. Boy saw his friend Richard the other day, went into a field and sucked a puddle up. That's taking it out of the river, because we have a few of them, and Roy said it's totally illegal. Not allowed to do that. So instead I'll suck it up before it gets to the river. 30 feet in my nice clean Merlot. Mm. Personally don't think this is gonna travel, but Roy seems to think it will, so. We'll go with Roy. Oh, oh, it's getting. Oh, yeah. This isn't ideal. Oops. See the mini mill. It's not exactly on flotation tires, but we will just get rolled up next week when it dries up a little bit. <laughs> Shall I stand on it? bringing the Merlot across because it's made like the tyres are completely different um, but never mind it'll roll out next week when we come in um, shining on the fell side over there on the Pennines and yeah if you look over that way that's the Lake District chances are it's probably bloody raining on them all so naughty Persons is not in calf and I'm sure it's made her behaviour worse She's really giddy and she runs everywhere. Like she's just really silly. So we need water to be able to mix the slurry. We just do. And we're squatting about trying to find more water because you can't just go and take it out of the river. climb over that then and thought better of it it's just yeah you're right so when people by 2030 have had to cover their lagoons towers whatever you've got it's got to be covered and stop the rainwater going in. You will all be in the same boat as us with this tank under this shed and you will have to do this. You have to have water to be able to process slurry. And I just, I don't understand who's making these decisions. Clearly has never done this 
um, and has never spread it. Doesn't know anything about it practically. I mean, in reality, doesn't know anything about it. Yeah, they might know the numbers and the emissions and whatnot. They don't know this. They, they haven't got a clue. They really... Is me going on about oh we've not had any prolapses and then one comes along right i'll show you now how i'll sort it if you're interested it's the most snack addicted sheep in the shed so prolapses um <laughs> no one really knows why there is i did a lot of research on prolapses when we first got the clins because they are prone to it as a breed so that's one tick for a prolapse fat sheep one tick for a prolapse feeding what was it feeding fodder beet without a fibrous like counterpart another tick for a prolapse here is a lambing spoon so basically what happens is the the cervix and like the, the the canal it all like turns in on itself and comes out so what you do is you basically like palm flat hand kind of thing or fist i found fist a lot easier personally i don't know if that's the right thing to do but i found fist a lot easier anyway you lube it up and you basically push it and it kind of threads back in on itself it's not um it won't be hard or anything you wash it up give it a bit of id and you know and then basically you insert this. Now it's not as brutal as it looks. This just keeps the 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 hole where it's meant to be, basically, and stops it folding out on itself. It's like a telescopic kind of yeah, ugh, yeah, I know. Sort of like five harnesses that we've got. We've not used one this time, so I cannot complain too much. We have a hot outside cat, and um, so I'll put some of the magic pink disinfectant in, stick the lambing spoon in. I don't want people to think that sucking up a puddle was Roy's crazy idea because it wasn't. It was Richard Armstrong's crazy idea. And he wants to mention in the credits, so instead I thought I'd give it a mention in the actual video. If he was here, I'd have had him sucking it up because he'd have loved that. Lubrication! Serious. Uh, I've just been and got some new lube. Um, I lambed that Ryland last night and it was absolutely horrendous. Ran out of lube during it. Wait, a prolapse has actually disappeared again. But... Is that her? Are you sure? Yeah, I've brought everything out and it's totally gone. I'm sure it's her, like positive. But I didn't take a really good look. Anywho, I've got everything in the shed anyway, so it's ready to do later if need be. Which it will do because it'll pop out again. They always do. And sadly, it always results in an orange tag, which means tag of going. Um, because they will always repeat offend. Like it's hereditary. Who knew? Who knew? I'm pretty sure that there will be prolapse later on. So I've left all the stuff in the shed. The noise, seriously. There's lots of noise going on, um, which I'm not used to. I'm used to just like machinery noise, not like noise everywhere. Anywho, I am going to get up on the top of the silage pit and take the tires off because this is needed that's holding all of that on is that tiny little pin. Whoa! I know, right? I know. So we have got uh, ladders at the back of a silage pit. I'm just walking round. Um, the ladder should be on the inside and I don't have to walk all this way. So lazy. That's what our tyres look like, the wagon sidewalls. I'll show you in a minute. So basically this here is a wagon sidewall and they just cut the, you know, the actual grippy bit of the tyre off. They don't hold water. They're amazing, honestly, really, really, really happy with them. You can't get them anymore though. When you're up here, you just end up, you're normally busy and you just throw them backwards on yourself and you stack them up and they all fall over. So that bucket is really handy. Eight. You can see there's like bits of gates and rocks and stuff in here. 
here. So when we finish the construction of the silage pit and the silage pit roof, winter was pretty much here and the ground was absolutely sodden. Um, so we just left them there. There was absolutely no need for us to go and get them. Um, and to be honest, I was like out of mind. We don't look down there at all in winter. We don't look anywhere out that way. So um, now we've got the Merlot I'll, on a drier day, obviously, because I've just made a mess in one field. I don't want to make a mess in another. Um, I'll head on down there and pick them all up with the pallet fox. That's a good job for me to do. I've got to make use of that Merlot. I've got to make use of it. Found a 16. I'm glad I came down here now. It's a nice one with one of them ratchets in it. I was um, speaking to Ollie yesterday about um, Merlot stuff, to be honest. And he was telling me that on the farming forum, the rage against me still continues. That's fine. Um, he also told me that they all think they're arguing with somebody who's me. Whoever that person is, leave them alone, it ain't me. Um, I have not been on it since um, the original post was sent to me. I have no intention of going on it either. So whoever you're having a dig at, stop having a dig at them because um, it, it's it's definitely not me. I am here and I don't have time to go on farming forum and reply to comments to people who don't like me. So that's that's that. Uh, it's definitely not me. I actually have an account on farming forum. It's under my name. Like, it, that's it. There's no farm at the end. It's just Charlotte Ashley, that's it. I don't use it, but I, if I'm ever on it, it will be under my own name. Do not need any aliases to fight my corner. like a day how can you escape to already oh you from afar i think just to be on the safe side um hold on hold on hold on i don't think i can do it there um 34 no 42 sorry 42 um there's its mum um it's been attacked by crows They've had its eyes, they've been at its ass. They are, yeah, they're nasty, nasty, nasty things. Sorry. Sorry. She only went out yesterday as well. Turn your lamps out. <laughs> no, I know. It's happened from half past nine, and it's now half past three, I think, school time. That's happened in that amount of time. Mm. I take it a bit easier when they're in the shed. But when they're outside, you think that you've done your good job and you've turned them away. You don't want them dead in a field. All going on, it is all going on. So we've got uh, a Dutch spotted, it just lambed one there, but it's due to have twins. So I'll just leave it five minutes. See if she spits another one out and then jump in and it's cyst. We've got, um, a mule here with triplets that's just had one so i'm just going to clear a pen out to put her in and then we have my favorite of all time the one and only sayetta is having her lambs so yeah she's just superb superb this sheep honestly best girl ever she's the one that's got a pass forever oh i see a ball i do i see a ball i see it go on let's give it some Ooh, this is a good boy. She's good at pushing. Oh, she's a good pusher. Good girl. Well done. I am actually going to very quickly um, move the Ryland with the skin lamb over and then throw everybody else out that way so that I've got some pens because as it stands, I actually don't have any room and there's actually um, lambs actually coming out. It's an issue. It's an issue. Before next year, I will have bought more pens. Literally just tagging and tailing these lambs and then sending them all out that away into the big pen to keep an eye on. So I'm just leaving Sayetta to it, to be honest. She's a fairly experienced sheep. She's of some age now. Um, she doesn't actually need my help. I'll show you what's in the ball though, because it's interesting. If you're really soft, look away now. I know you might find that totally gross, but I love it. I think it's amazing. I'm just going to give her five minutes. I'm going to put everybody else in a pen that I want in a pen because I've just emptied them all. Ideally, I want to disinfect them before they get in there, but 
Uh, I'll have to just make do afterwards, I'm sorry. Don't hate me. I think she's due to have another one. I don't see a spot on there and she's due to have another two. Deal with the two, I think, first, obviously. That there is way been in the oven too long. Um, it was stuck at the back. It was obviously trying to come out and it couldn't. Um, it's pooed inside and that's what the yellow color is. So there you can see the clear difference in the two. This lady next door is also being interrupted by a tiny dot from, well, it's steady, steady, right through that gap, let's go. There's nothing else in this one. She clearly would have had a purple dot, but obviously she's really dark and you can't tell. So we'll move on. This is very real time, isn't it? It's like a conveyor belt. We'll move on to Sayeta, who's in this corner. Um, and she's been on, as you've seen, a good 15 minutes now. And I'll just help her out because she's an old girl. And, and I love her dearly. Hello. Hello world. Hello. We have Sayeta two. Twins. They are too short to wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Single. Yeah, I think there is a purple mark on her now I look. A single, Dutch spotted, and triplets. So I'll just have a scout around for anyone else who looks like they might be doing something dodgy, including Mrs. Prolapse, that the prolapse has disappeared, but I am watching her. Rubber bands, because that's the only reason them two are still in. Our Ryland can go back in a pen on its own. I'm gonna go and make some tea and then we'll come back out and we need to straw lime. No, it's just wool, it's all right. Right. I'm gonna go and make this video because otherwise I'm not gonna have one to show you tonight. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed your lambing. It's nearly over now. And then we're on to carving. It's just the same, but bigger. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Love you long time. Bye, 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 bye.